good day listeners thank you for tuning in to afri's concept tv for the news updates war is coming hype up makes this shocking decision see what they want for biafra nation you're welcome to this tv once again now to the details but don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. The news details carefully listing to the end. Unam Dikano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, has declared that the struggle for the actualization of Biafra cannot be suppressed. Through his legal counsel, Aloy Ejimako, Kanu conveyed a personal message stating that Biafra is a non negotiable aspiration. In a tweet shared by Ejimako on Tuesday, Kanu expressed his profound appreciation for the unwavering solidarity of the people of Biafra and the entire IPOP family in the face of his unlawful detention. He assured them that their pursuits of self-determination would continue until its ultimate realization, emphasizing its non-negotiable nature. It should be recalled that Kanu was forcibly taken from Kenya in 2021 and has since remained in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, in Abuja, despite an appellate court's order for his release. The federal government has lodged, lodged an appeal before the Supreme Court, outlining its stance on the Biafran leader. Just a few days ago, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, a civil rights advocacy group, called upon President Tinumbu to release Kanu as a means of fostering national reconciliation. Similarly, Governor Peter Umba of Enugu State urged the President to facilitate Kanu's release and hand him over to the Southeast Governors. Uba believes that such a move would expedite the healing process Nigeria needs at this crucial pardon at this critical junction and symbolize the administration's willingness to extend a brotherly hand of fellowship to the Igbo people. In the related developments, Governor Umba also announced the end of the seat at home order imposed by the separatist group in the states. This decision aims to restore normalcy and encourage the resumption of daily activities. Unamdi Kanu's resolute declaration of the non-negotiability of the Biafran struggle, coupled with the appeals for his release and the relaxation of tension in Enugu states, reflects the ongoing dynamics surrounding the Biafra issue. The journey toward resolution remains challenging, but the determination of those involved continues to shape the narrative. The IPOP leader, Mazunam Dikano, has declared that the struggle for the actualization of Biafra cannot be negoci negotiated, that Biafra has come to stay, and that nobody can negotiate it, even while in the detention of the DSS. And he actually believed that one day, Biafra will come to pass. We remember that this agitation has been in existence since the Ojuku times. 
whereby the Ojuku did not actualize the Biafran state. But the IPOB leader believes he can do that and it is non-negotiable. The federal government should not negotiate it. And he was happy that his followers are still standing behind him and they are making sure that IPOB moves forward and that the entire Apple family, in the face of his own unlawful detention, he assured them that their pursuit for self-determination would continue until its ultimate realization. No matter how long it's going to take, the realization will actually come to pass. And remember that the federal government has, the, the federal government has refused to release Mazuna Bikano even after the Court of Appeal has asked that he should be released. But the federal government took the case to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court has not said anything concerning his case. And now the new, pres- the new governor of Enugu State has also facilitated and pleaded with the president that President Enugu should release Mazuna Bikano. This will foster national reconciliation, and also this will actually make the southeast be peaceful and also peter umba who can sue the seat at home orders that is going to that is going on on mondays that this has affected the economy and everything in general in the states the monday that is the first day of the week whereby you're supposed to go to your business you're going to supposed to go to work students that will go to school everybody is sitting there at home and it's affecting the economy so he cancelled it and said everybody should go ahead with their normal business. But anyone who feels that he wants to take up the mandate of enforcing the sit at home can go ahead with it. But his law, the law is going to face the law. But I probably leader I say that the Biafra is non-negotiable. No matter how long it's going to take, they are going to actualize the Biafra states we have come to the end of the news dear listeners what's your view today please share your view in the comment section thank you